Hi, I'm Jacinda. I'm an interior designer. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm also an interior designer. We have been staying here for about a year now. It's a 720 square feet HDB. We roughly spend about 100k on the renovations, excluding furniture. When we buy resale unit, it's um, more or less you can take everything away and like um, transport the space to whatever the layout you want. Lah. Because you know the design for a resale unit is much more endless than compared to a BTO. We basically have to tear down everything. Hence the price. Mm -hmm. I think there's no one exact style to describe our house. Uh, it's more to contemporary with a little touch of industrial. In a way, what we did was all the built-ins actually are more timeless. Mm. So any point of time, if for example, let's say we would like to change the style, so we can just change the furnitures, so we don't have to actually change all the built-ins. Right now, we don't have any kids, so we can have like a bigger living area and uh, the living area also can be closed as a guest room. We choose this sofa because it's actually a size of a super single bed. So we can actually use it as a guest bed as well. In fact, being interior designers, right, we are able to experiment things that we proposed before to clients but... Rejected ideas Rejected ideas, rejected ideas but we think it's very feasible in the current day situation. We also have a pot filler in our kitchen. I think that's my favourite feature. Because it's really make the cooking so much easier where I can just take the water in front of the hob instead of like bringing the pot to the sink. Okay, the transparent toilet door, we actually take the inspiration from a hotel that we went during our travel. We both like like darker um, style toilet. Yeah, and it's basically only the two of us so we don't think privacy is an issue. If we design for like clients, right, there's always a time limit. You don't really have the full extent to really, you know, test the space. In a way, we are more detail-eccentric because it's basically designed to our needs. Do you have any advice for like homeowners about designing their homes? Listen to the ID. <laughs> <laughs> I think know your priority. That's the first thing that I would say. So do what is important for you first and then you can go ahead and do the rest uh, probably 3 years down the road, 5 years down the road, yeah.